Okay, we're going to do another quick uh, tutorial here, and uh, we're going to zoom in. What we're doing now is we're going to add some new pages to the uh, website, and we're going to show you. I'm going to show you how it's going to going to show up in this side navigation that I have set up here in the sidebar, and uh, you can see we have these main links here, and I'm going to show you how exactly that comes about. And then we have our page links here, and I'll show you how I uh, make those appear and work. All right, so let's uh, zoom out here and get started. All right, so we're already lo logged into our dashboard. We're going to go create a new page. All right, now, if you want to have a title here, I hate it when it does that. It seems I want to paste something there. I'm just going to create a generic page. Alright, now I'm going to scroll over here with our publish prompt here. We're going to go ahead and publish this. Alright, and now we're going to go back over to our other tab here. Zooming in for you guys here. I have this on full screen. And I'm going to hit refresh. As you can see, uh, it's just showed up right there. In our, uh, navigation automatically. And uh, these pages here are in alphabetical order by uh, automation. Automatically, they are. I'm going to click on this link and uh, Here's that page, that generic page. All right, cool stuff. So we want to get rid of that because obviously we don't want this on our very professional website. Over here in the publish prompt, there's a move the trash button, self-explanatory. Takes it a second. Let's get it, uh, back here. All right, and you see the edited. Edited pages prompt here. You can see all the listing of all the pages. Of course, that one's not in the trash. And so we're going to go home real quickly on the website. And as you can see, it's no longer under the inmate related pages widget there in the sidebar. Pretty cool. And you were probably wondering. Since that's that uh, category of links there, uh, what if I want to add something here to the the new uh, or to the the you know main navigation here? That's uh, just general information. So we're going to do that real quick. All right. We're going to do the same thing. In fact, why don't we do this number? We're just going to pull this out of the trash here. Your, your edit pages uh, listing here. We're just going to restore that. So now it's out of the trash. Now uh, the uh, framework that I use for uh, creating WordPress, some people would say a theme, but it's way bigger than a theme. It's thesis. And we're going to go under site options here on the left in your uh, da on your dashboard in your thesis okay we're going to expand all of those and of course right here here's your navigation all right navigation menu this is the uh i'm trying to scroll down here it's kind of annoying all right here we go um you see all these this listing of pages these are all the pages here I'm going to check this. All right. Hit the save button. I am going to go ahead and zoom out again. Hope it's not giving me a headache or anything. This is kind of new to me, the zooming in and out. I just learned how to do yesterday on my trackpad. Okay, so let's take a look. Hit and refresh again. I'm going to zoom in again. As you can see, that is uh, in our list here. Our main navigation. 
Now you, you'll see it's also under the uh, the inmate related section. So we want to take that out. So we don't want it in two places. That'd look kind of silly. Might confuse some people. And since this is in a widget, and I'm going to scroll down now. Under appearances, we have a link. Appearance, we have a link called widgets on the left here. Yeah, there we go. Now it's a uh, pull up for us. And over here, Jason, he's come back. Sorry about that. Trackpad's a little buggy. I don't really like using it. But uh, it's kind of an easy thing to do for zooming in and out. So you can see this on your non full screen viewing. Uh, sidebar one is where we're going. As you can see, inmate related. Now you notice uh, th that's what uh, we have for our uh, inmate related links on in the sidebar. And uh, as you see, I mentioned earlier that you're in alphabetical order, sorting by page title, and page order, which would be the order in which we created them, for the page ID. Now, there's page titles and then there's numerical IDs that are assigned to these pages. Okay, and I've excluded the ones that are in the main navigation, with the exception of the one we just made. So, I'll tell you what, what we're going to do a quick way to find out what your uh, page ID is. You know, if you're not looking in the edit section there. We don't we do not have uh, what we call pretty permalinks uh, enabled. So this page actually has the number here in the URL. I'm gonna zoom in for you. This is the page was created the, the number is 137. I'm just gonna copy and paste that. Alright now we're gonna go back to our widgets tab here, zoom in, scroll down hit a comma, paste that 137 in, hit the save button. Alright, now, let's hit the refresh on that. And as you can see under inmate related, no longer there, still on our main navigation. Good stuff. Alright, thanks, uh, thanks for the time there, and uh, See you in a minute.